first things first, we've got a circuit and it just comprises of a one, my one is a 1K resistor and a capacitor of um, 470 nanofarads there. And we're just going to connect up the function generator to that. And there's the function generator set up. We just note that on the capacitor here, let me zoom in on the capacitor, it's um, uh, polarity dependent, this capacitor. It's an electrolytic one. Just there. there's a, a little white band that has to go to negative. If you use an electrolytic or a polarity dependent capacitor, you must make sure that the negative goes to, to the negative of, of whatever supply you're using there. Now I've connected up channel one of the oscilloscope, we note that the probe goes to positive and that the ground of the probe goes to negative there. And on the scope, of course, we've already seen the waveform. And what we're going to do for comparison is we're going to set up channel 2 and we're going to measure the voltage just across the capacitor. So we're going to put a probe's going to go here and it's going to go there and we'll be able to read that voltage and the input voltage at the same time. Now, if we don't alter the menu for channel 2, we get a reading that's, well, very difficult to read. The, the yellow's out of scale. So we need to make a few alterations to channel 2. So first thing is we press the channel 2 button here. Except don't switch it off. OK. And the first thing I would do, the time basis is the same for both waveforms. The first thing I would do is change the volts per division. This one's on 100 millivolts, so I'm going to match it up with the input waveform. And at, and then I'm going to use the vertical position here, this control here, and I'm going to shift the waveform upwards. And if you just notice on this corner, 1 and 2, once 1 and 2 are together, they're at the same point on the screen. So... There we've got two covering one, so both these waveforms are at the same point on the screen. And you can clearly see, can't you, it's very easy to see, that the, the waveform, the output waveform, leads this voltage here. So a capacitor causes a leading effect here. And that, you remember that leading effect can be anything up to 90 degrees with the capacitor. To measure things like um, phase, for example, we've got the cursor control over here. And we can have it for voltage or for time. So we would select time. And then we get two cursors which we can adjust using these controls. And what you could do, for example, is you could take the peak of both waveforms, roughly anyway. So I'll take that one there and this one here. And you can measure the time difference between both peaks. That gives you the change in phase. There. OK. Change in X. X is in this direction. It's 200 milliseconds. So from that, you could work out the phase. You could work out the change in phase using these, these cursors here.